Hey guys, welcome to Cora Radar, your one-stop shop for tips and tricks in the digital world. Today we'll talk about what to do when your iPhone won't update. Apple is periodically releasing iOS updates on each iPhone to keep it performing at top capacity. Users can simply go to Settings, tap General, choose Software Update, tap Download and install and you're good to go. That said, some users still have trouble updating iPhone to the latest version of iOS. For example, you receive an alert saying there is an iOS update available but there is no new update you can download and install. You get errors like unable to check for update, unable to verify update and unable to install update. What's the reason behind that? How to fix an iPhone not updating? Now, keep watching the contents below. Why won't iPhone update? Here's a list of the factors that may lead to iOS update failure. The Wi-Fi network isn't strong enough or you're using a cellular network. Your iPhone model is too old to support the latest software like iOS 17, 18, etc. There isn't enough battery power and it leads to iPhone not updating problems. There isn't enough storage space to complete an update. Your iPhone fails to reach the update servers at Apple. The system goes wrong and stops the iPhone from updating properly. Thankfully, you can get your device booting and running again on your own. So here's how to fix an iPhone that won't update. Don't worry if you're a novice of digital devices or a new iPhone user. We'll introduce all the methods step by step. Besides, if you have any questions, write it down in the comment below and we'll reply to you within 24 hours. Is your iPhone eligible for the new update? Find you can't update iPhone to iOS 17 or the current latest iOS version? Check if your iPhone model is supported. According to Apple's support page, iPhone models compatible with iOS 17 or iPhone XR are the later models. An iPhone 10, iPhone 8 or older models is not eligible to install the most recent software update. In such cases, if you don't want to be stuck on the old iOS version, consider buying a new iPhone. Get at least 50% iPhone battery power. If your iPhone is eligible for the latest update but it can't install the latest version of iOS, you'll need to check if you meet the requirements for a smooth iOS upgrade process. The first one is enough battery power. When your iPhone is refusing to update or the update or the update doesn't load, it can be because your device doesn't have enough battery power to complete an update. Now, check the current battery percentage on your iPhone. Make sure it has more than 50% of battery life left. Actually, it'd be better if you can update an iPhone while charging it. Besides, if you've turned on automatic update feature, your iPhone will be updated to the latest iOS version that's compatible when it's charged and connected to Wi-Fi. Get at least 5 gigabytes of free iPhone space. The second requirement is enough iPhone memory. Since an iOS update generally requires additional storage space to be completed normally, the software firmware usually takes up 2 gigabytes or 3 gigabytes. If the space isn't enough, it'll prompt you for the error of failure to download, upload or install the update. To fix an iPhone not updating due to the relatively full storage space, go and find some apps you don't use, or large files like photos and videos and remove them. Once you've successfully got 5 gigabytes of free space, update your iPhone again in the Settings app and you should finally get access to the latest features. Connect your iPhone to a stable Wi-Fi network. The third one is a stable Wi-Fi network. An iPhone is suggested to be connected to a wireless network to make sure that the iOS update process goes smoothly. If not, the update can't download properly. If you're using a cellular network and the iPhone doesn't update iOS, try using the wireless connection with strong signal. Now, go back to the Settings app and tap Download and Install. Your iPhone should start downloading the software. Do a restart. A system glitch could cause updating problems. If your iPhone won't update software even when connected to a stable Wi-Fi connection, having enough storage, and plugged into a power, the system glitch should be the culprit. No worries. A quick restart will usually fix it. If you're using an iPhone 10, 11, or later iPhone models, do this to restart your iPhone. Press and hold the volume up or down button and the side button until the power off slider appears. Drag the slider to the right and wait 30 seconds for your device to turn off. To turn your device back on, press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. If you're using an iPhone 8 or older iPhone models, do this to restart your iPhone. Press and hold the side button until the power off slider appears. Drag the slider to the right and wait 30 seconds for your device to turn off. To turn your device back on, Press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. After it reboots, go to Settings app and see if your iPhone goes through the software update normally. See if there is a problem with Apple's servers. It isn't always the user's fault when the iPhone doesn't update.
If you meet all the demands to upgrade iOS and are assured that the iPhone system goes well, it may indicate that you can't reach the update server. Sometimes, it'll send the error message on your iPhone and you can browse the Apple support page to find the fix. If not, try the following feasible ways to update your iPhone software. Use a computer to update an iPhone. Aside from the settings app, you can also use a Windows computer and macOS computer to update your iPhone. It'll download the newest iOS software on the computer first. Once finished, it'll extract the firmware and install it into your iPhone to upgrade the system. The process is easy and here's what you need to do. Plug your iPhone into the computer and open iTunes or Finder. From there, find your device icon or name and click it. Next, choose check for update. Then, click update and finish the following steps to update iPhone software. Update an iPhone via recovery mode. If you still find the iPhone is not updating or an error keeps occurring while trying to update, consider the recovery mode. It makes your iPhone enter a safe troubleshooting status and use iTunes or Finder to do an upgrade. The steps might be a little complicated so you can go through first before attempting. You'll still get a PC or a Mac to do that. Let's start. On your computer, run iTunes or Finder. Use a USB cable to connect your iPhone to the computer. Follow the on-screen instructions to enter recovery mode. For iPhone 8 and later models, press and quickly release the volume up button. Then press and quickly release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, press and hold the volume down button and the side button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 6s and earlier models, press and hold the home button and the side or top button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. After you get into this mode, go to iTunes or Finder window and choose the update option. Complete the on-screen instructions and wait for the process to complete. Hope now your iPhone is updated to its latest iOS software version. And there you have it, folks. We've reached the end of our video on what to do when the iPhone isn't updating. Thank you for watching, and we wish you the best of luck in getting your iPhone back in working condition. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more tech-related content. Until next time.